Hey everyone, PV here and welcome to today's YouTube video. And today we're going to do an Innistrad Midnight Hunt draft. And you might have noticed that uh, the content in the channel is a little bit different, right? And this is because I'm trying out different things. Now that Worlds is done, I can focus a little bit more on the content creation side of things. So I'm really just trying to see what my audience is interested in. So this week there will be an experiment. I'm going to do way more than one video this week. I don't know if it's going to be one per day, but it's going to be more than that. I'm going to diversify the topics a little bit. I also diversify the links. So you'll see some smaller videos and bigger videos. you see uh, some limited, some constructed different decks. And then maybe we can experiment with, uh, you know, some patron stuff that submitted decks um, and voted decks and, and things like that. Right. So really the, the goal here is to see what works and what doesn't work for my audience. So and let's start with the draft. If you saw, some people saw the the screenshots from the tournament and stuff. You're like, wow, you have 200,000 gems, that's so much. I was like, well, that's the god account we used for the tournament. It's not our personal accounts. I am not super rich in my personal account. I actually had to spend a lot of my gems and stuff to get cards very early for to test for worlds. So, okay, I think we're going to do this view because it's kind of weird because this view is worse for seeing the cards because they're so small and better for seeing your deck, but this is better for seeing the cards and worse for seeing your deck. So uh, we're going to do this one and then we can switch to the other one. All right, so Lear is super, super strong. I think you can pair it with basically any deck uh, that has spells, right? It's not a big requirement. Even green decks have a lot of spells in this format. And it is far and away the best card in this pack. I don't think it's particularly close, right? Um, so I'm just going to take that and... Um, unclear what I'm really thinking about wheeling here. This is not a super strong pack, but like there's Diagraph Cord, there's No Way Out, there's the, you know, some people like the Roost, there's Gale Drifter, Flame Channeler, Weech. So I'm probably not really counting on wheeling much here. So I don't pay that much attention to that unless it's something like really specific. Okay, this pack is pretty bad for me. I'm not going to take a blue card, right? The question is, am I going to take Rite of Oblivion or Blue Lager Slash? I think Rite of Oblivion is much better card than Moon Rider's Lash, but Moon Lash is obviously way more flexible. And I already have a busted first pick. So if it was pick one pack one, I would probably take this Lash because it is one color, but I would be tempted by the right. But given that it's pick two and I already have a blue card that I really, really want to play, I think that if this pick was close, then this swings it a little bit, right? So I'm just going to take that. Uh, okay, so here... I think the best card here is Eccentric Farmer. I mean, Secret Fire is okay, obviously. It's two colors, and the color condition I don't really love. Crawl the Star is fine, too. I think, but I think Eccentric Farmer is just a, the more powerful card here. Even though, like, I could take a blue card. The, this card is just better. And a lot of people avoid green, which I don't really get, because I think green is great. That's not green. That's a lie. Green is acceptable. <laughs> but still... No, this pack's also pretty bad. We have been having very great, many great packs. I could take like all the worldly gaze and try to wield the roost from pack one. I could take Crusher. Crusher is probably the best card here. Um, like it does go well with two of my picks and blue, uh, green red is actually potentially a spells deck in this format. So I think Crusher is kind of a cut above their cards. I thought this was Immolation when I looked at that first because the pictures are kind of similar. So I, I might bring kind of glance over it, but I think I think Crusher is, is the pick here. See, it's just a, a red fiery thing, right? It's kind of similar, kind of the same tone. Uh, okay, here, I mean, this is a good pack. I think Border Admirer is good. I never mind playing it in, in my blue green decks, and but Root Coral Creeper is just incredible, right? It, obviously, if I do end up not playing blue green, I could end up not playing it at all. Whereas the board admirer are much more likely to play, but I think the upside on this card is so much better that I should just take it. Okay, we got another Sentry Farmer. Now, now I'm happy. I can probably even start splashing this stuff. I'm not gonna splash the Cracker, but the Moorish Slash I certainly could, especially with the Leer. And the Farmer is just very good in blue green in general, very good with Leer. Uh, so I'm just gonna take it. Very good with Creeper, like you, you can throw stuff in the graveyard. So I'm very happy to have multiples of them. I'm probably taking the dual land here. I mean, it is the best flash option, I think. I don't really want to play Silver Bolt on deck like this because I want spells, right? I have a Crasher, I have a Leer. I might not play both, but I'll play one of the two. So this not being a spell, 
uh, being an artifact is a problem. So I'm gonna take the, the dual land here. Like I'll very likely either play this or splash it, and both are good. Here I think I'm just gonna go with Rejuvenator. I mean kind of like on theme. Now this pack this is my original pack. Oh wow, I will the witch. That's surprising. Because the witch was definitely one of the better cards in the pack. I didn't think it was gonna will it. But I guess people don't like white very much, neither do I. Uh, I'm certainly not taking it with what I have. So, is it the path or immolation? Path's pretty bad. I guess I could take the five drop as well. I'm gonna take immolation. There are a thousand five drops. I might regret this. There are also a thousand immolations as it turns out. All right, here. Oh, I've actually played, might play this. Stormrider Spirit. Not that bad a pick for me. Ooh, a rare in our colors. Perfect. Uh, no, no, that was a joke. This card's horrible. I mean, I'm just gonna take the Liberator, I guess. It's still pretty, still pretty good being a werewolf, like on turn two. It it really forces their hand and pressures them to do stuff. Whether I end up in, I guess I can show you this view for a bit. So uh, whether I end up in green red or blue green. I mean, at this point, I'm I want to be blue green splash red, so I don't want to play these red cards over here. I think this is better than the angler, even though the angler has synergy with my two eccentric farmers. Like, I think this is still better. I could still be blue-red, but I think I'm more likely to be green than blue. I'm gonna go back to the other view because I can't see the cards, I'm blind. Uh, okay, Play With Fire is the best card, I think. It's not that great. I mean, it's just okay. I might take the Angler just for the synergy with what I already have. Like, spells, having spells is good with Leer, but this is a pretty weak splash in general. I, oh, sorry, I should take the Revenge, I think. I mean, the Reven I think the Revenge is going to be better than Play of Fire here. The blue-green decks really miss this sort of stuff. And I, I would want the Angler, but flashing, like, disturbing this is not even that good. I think, yeah, I'm just going to take Revenge here. I'll find some disturb options. And this is pretty bad. Timberland guy? I mean, I don't want to play Consider. I might. I have Leer. But considering a three-card deck is awkward. But throwing a land in the graveyard for the farmers is not that bad. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Ooh, another creeper. Nice. Now we just need something to do with it. We need those storms. Seize the storm. <laughs> but yeah, this card is pretty good. It's not that good in our deck yet. Wait, what where did he go? why did he go to the sideboard? Oh, do I want Dryad's Revival or tapping at the window? I probably just want Dryas Revival, and I'll probably play it too. With the mill, the south mills, and the two require creepers. It's not that hard to use. Oh, it's a pretty late Dawnheart Mantra. This card is really good. It's also a pretty late Blade Stitch Scab, but obviously I can't play that. We're not really a werewolf deck, so we don't really need this a natural moon rise. I'm just gonna take the fight spell. Which is not that great so far for me, but big dude. Yeah, this is one of the reasons I don't need, don't really want to take aggressive five drops because the, there's just so many in the set that are okay. This is probably the best of the common ones. Well, the the, the black one is the best when it makes two tokens. Do I want Arcane Infusion? I mean, I could, depending on what I end up with. I could also just play Locked in the Cemetery. I think this is bigger upside, but might be stupid. I don't want two Rejuvenators, I don't think. Like, especially because I already have two Creepers. There's a limit to... Oh, the Wolf is not bad. Tapping at the window is not that bad either. Especially in a deck like mine. Like, I have Leer to dig into. I have two Creepers for two drops already, and a Guide. Oh my god, it picked for me. It was too fast. I was gonna pick the other one. <laughs> I was gonna pick the Window card. <laughs> okay. I have a lot of twos already. I didn't need this too. Probably didn't need this Arcane Infusion either. I think of everything. Uh, 
Come on, seize the storms and oracles and, and card drawing spells. It does wolf I mean, I'm at play. Okay, wrong storm. Is this good in my deck? I do have two creepers. It's really easy for me to flash it back. I mean, this costs 10, not that easy. What do I have that is that works? Oh, they, they work with Leer too, by the way. Um, I mean, I have three five drops, only one to four drop. Yeah, I think Organ Hoarder is just gonna be a better card, unfortunately. This is much cooler, but I think Organ Hoarder is just gonna be better here. I don't know if I should play this Arcane Infusion at all. Ooh, very happy to take a Rise of the Ants here. I mean, the Shadow Beast Siding, I, I would have been happy with this one as well. But I think this, the, the Rise of the Ants is a little bit better. And I do have like a bunch of ways to flash it back. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy to take this. And I, I'll, I'll be happy to take the Shadow, more Shadow Beasts in the future if I see them. But I don't really want to play Geist Wave. What do I want to play? I mean, my red is just... At this point, I'm playing red just because it's so free, right? Oh, there's the Shadow Beast. This is definitely better than the, the Abomination. Lunar Friends is pretty okay, but I think Shadow Beast is more important in my deck. Also, this, this deck is not that aggressive, right? Oh, wow. This card is incredibly strong. It is a gold card, so it makes some sense that people didn't take it. In pack three. So do I want the, the Sprout or the Farmer? I think they're actually both pretty good, but I don't have that many creatures. I'm more of a... I mean, I have a decent number of creatures. I think the farmer is more important. The Evolving Wilds is what would be good for me too, but... Oh wow, this is a pretty late Organ Hoarder that we're going to take for sure. Bird of is not bad. This is also a very late Sunrise Cavalier, but Bird of I think is pretty okay. I don't really want to splash anything else. Do I want this? I don't think I need it. I think I'm more likely to want a removal spell. So far I need to cut one card. It's probably going to be Timberland Guide. I'm really sad I didn't get Seize the Storms. I was so ready to play them. Oh, I might play this. My Leer is not that great. There's not that much, but it's still a pretty strong card. I could cut the Rejuvenator. I don't think I need it for the fixing and... Like, I have three farmers. I think I like the Dry's Revival with the three farmers and the two required papers. It's just going to be so easy to flash it back. So how many spells do I have? I have Rise of the Ants, Shadow Beast, Revenge, Dry's Revival, Slash, Two Dwarf for Dominance, Startle Consider. I could play the Arcane Infusion. It's not great. Huh. Do I want the Elementalist? Normally no, but I mean, I might. I'm not gonna play Return to Nature. We'll keep it. In reserve. Here's another five. If we if we find out. Oh wow, this card is good. I'm shocked it came so late. I mean, I'll play it. It's not good in my deck, all things considered. But I mean, I got I have three farmers. It is gonna be good. I'm certainly playing this card. All right. So how do we build this? Um, we're currently at forty one. I mean, I don't have to splash this lash, even though it is super free. It is a pretty good card with Leer, but... Like, some of the time, like, but it is so free. I have a dual land, I have two Creepers, and I have a thousand of Sentry Farmers. Like, I, I'm probably not even gonna need to buy Mountain. But I guess I'm fine not playing it. Like, I could play Luck in the Cemetery instead of, like, Stardle, but I like Stardle a little bit. I don't have to play this Wolf either, but... I could also cut a land, but I mean, I have flashback stuff. Yeah, I think this is probably the best. I mean, this flash is like almost free. Playing one mountain would not be free. Like sometimes you're gonna draw that mountain, it's gonna be bad. I don't have to play the revival either. I don't have well, anything super great to bring back, but just bringing back two creatures, I think should be fine a lot of the time. 
So should I play this 5-5 five, five, for 5 here? I don't think so. I think that both the Flyer and the, the Horror are better. And Leer is better too. Even though I don't... I mean, I have Consider, Startle, Duels. That's basically it. And Revenge. Yeah, I have enough. I think it also makes this cheaper, this cheaper. So yeah, I'm just going to play this. And then I'll... I'll Oh, I was going to say I'll sideboard depending on what they're playing, but there's no sideboarding. But we'll see. <laughs> so let me, I'm going to try to put this in a less obstruct. I'm going to make it smaller. It's too big. Reasonable hand. You want to cycle the startle? Well, I guess we're not going to be given the choice. Did the thing cut my mouth? Those are gonna play three mountains. We better have cut them. Oof. I just make a four four in here. My next turn, if I draw land, I can just make a four, the four five. That's weird. You should just bounce my token. What are they doing? I'm so confused. But I will accept. Yeah, this outcome wasn't the best for them. Oh, I'm gonna tell you this much. Yeah, I just want to make it as punishing as possible for them if they do just pass the turn. Because right, here they can just pass the turn and then flip it and then flip it back. Right, and get to exile another thing. It's pretty annoying. This card is really strong versus blue green. This card is not particularly playable. But I mean, I guess it is going to be okay versus me. I'll play Mentor plus Farmer here. Could play Mentor plus Creeper and just use it to flash back the Shadow Beast next turn. But I can flash back it anyway, even if I don't play the Creeper, but it saves me two mana. I'm just gonna play this. It's just, you can attack. It's bigger. All right, so this flipped. I mean, I don't really want to pay six and get something bounced. I also don't want to flip that back. I really want to find a duel is what I need. They're probably just going to jump again. Oh. I don't think I want this. I'm glad I just didn't attack. <laughs> I didn't just attack into and pump. That would have been a disaster. Oh, 
Well, now I got the duel, but... Are they gonna have two things? We'll see. I could pump and fight something. I, I think I would rather just do this. Alright, this was not the greatest for my opponent. I mean, we are very low ranked at this point because best of, we have to play best of one to rank up. Maybe we should have played best of three for better competition, but yeah, I mean, we, we have to climb up somehow, and if we're going to do more of this, then. We put a cap everything? Okay. I, mean, I can just attack with everything, I think. Minus the mentor. Even if they have tricks, I don't really care. Not doing a pre box is good though. Now they can make their blocks accordingly. I'm kind of off it because I think they're so dead. I, mean, I don't even care. <laughs> that was not optimal. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll. All right, we're going up. I think there is still value, even if the opposition is not going to be great because. My thought process is not going to be that different. Like the draft itself and like the cards is just not going to change that much. It sounds okay. It is not the best, but I have so many threes in my deck, I'm bound to find one before turn three, right? Where the odds I don't. God, the thing's just gonna flip. Tilt. I have to attack because he has mana, so I can't block. I mean, them blocking here is not that bad. Because it spends my mana, right? They don't know I have nothing to do. So normally it would be a pretty good exchange for them, I think, to block. But I have nothing to do, so it would have been good for me. Mocha is going crazy. That one? Curious. They should have put in the other one. I think. So many vandals. But now I'm always going to cast spells. This is so weird. That's gonna block. With my 2 2. I'm so confused. Is there even a trick that I can have? Not entirely sure. I could just attack and play revenge. I 
It is 444 because they can just. It might be 4 for 6. But I think it's fine. I don't want to like leave two things back. Or maybe I should have left two things back. Like if I leave the hauler and the 4 4 back, I don't do 4 I, but I don't take 4 4 6. But I mean, I'm, I am racing pretty hard right now. But they do have the two vandals, so maybe I shouldn't have attacked. Like maybe they're just gonna attack and try to flip their mystic skull. Like, succeed to flip the either, right? Not try. It is a tap thing that can then bounce. But like I do I do take a lot. When I draw a land though, the game is over, right? Because that's the right. Oh, they didn't attack. Did they just block? Oh, they're double blocking. Alright, this is not gonna go well for them. There's so many ways it's gonna go badly for them. I actually had one. Oh, they kept it on top? That seems unwise. They wanna draw that? They're just dead. I mean, not that like that dead, but really dead. Okay, fine. We'll play best of three next time. I did not realize what was happening. I didn't think I was that low ranked. <laughs> I guess I, I just play best of three, it has most of the time, and that doesn't change your rank, right? So I'm still bronze. I did draft a lot before, but I was always best of three. But now we've already done the draft, we might as well continue, right? Oh, I'm up. That's right. If I draw a land, I could play the mentor to chain them better and like guarantee a land with the farmer, basically. But I think I would rather just play the farmer anyway, just attacks better and and I didn't draw a land. I still want to play the farmer over the creeper, for sure. Like the creeper, I can it costs less mana, so next turn I can go creeper plus targo. Obviously, if I draw a land, well, maybe not actually. Maybe I should should play creeper because then next turn I can play farmer, find a land, and play Stardo. or I could just play organ hoarder. I think I'm just gonna play the farmer though. Like farmer is basically a hundred percent real land. Right? Like, no one's ever missed a farmer in their lives that I know of. I don't know if you, you people know anyone just, just ever missed, but it couldn't, couldn't be me. Moving on, Rodosus. You're not gonna attack. We both know that. I will block. I'm not afraid. I could just play two creepers now. I don't really want to attack. Damn! I just played the land and passed. Okay, I'm gonna get Wrath or something here? I could just play Farmer into Hoarder. It's obviously I'm gonna hit. And if I don't hit... I might get Wrath, I don't know. Oh my god, so unlucky. This is unreal. I'm the unluckiest person. Oh, I should have... 
That was a joke, by the way, a joke. I'm not actually being like this person. It is tricky getting so used to playing with with decklists that like you kind of learn unlearn how to play around rares and stuff because you always know if they have them or not. And I don't know. I should be I should be doing a better job of playing around wrath. But this Rotus just doesn't look like a wrath person. Are they attacking and then wrathing? I mean, what? what? Yeah, yeah. Should I even start all that? Yeah, I guess I should. I just really have nothing. Deal, deal, deal. I mean, they better have a wrath. It's a Otherwise, what's happening over here? I didn't need to start it, but what was I gonna do? Right? I'm not gonna. What on earth? What is your hand? Is it all red cards? This might be the easiest game I've ever played in my life. Where my opponent actually like played a second lane. <laughs> I'm gonna take a break because the dogs are crazy. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I think these matches aren't really being representative of what matches in their format should look like. Right? Because I'm just too low ranked in, in best of one at this point. So I'm gonna stop the video here. I'm not gonna play the other matches. And then next time I do this, I'll play best of three. And that should be better competition. Until I can rank up to like, you know, diamond or something in best of one. Uh, and then we're going to have more representative games. But I think, you know, this draft and a couple matches should still be enough for me to to see how much interest there actually is in limited in, in my channel. If you like my work and want to support me a little bit more, make sure to check out my Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash pvdr and you can get some extra perks while supporting my work in there. And special thank you to my biggest supporters, Adam Racing, Adrian Camilleri, Foxy, Fernando Vizel, Jian uh, Jian, Igor Petrov, Joey, uh, Juan Chao, Kelvin Peng, Kevin Massey, Lawson, Mattia Giorgini, Nate, Silvia Leticia, Thomas Bocorni, Dimitri. Uh, I really appreciate the support and I'll see you next video.